in this video we are going to learn about tie set matrix okay so in the previous video we discussed about how to draw a graph how to find incidence matrix and all in this video we are going to learn about tie set matrix okay suppose in the question they have given us a graph this is a directed graph see directions are there okay so in this graph a b c and d are the nodes 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 are the branches now from this graph this is our graph from this graph we need to draw a tree so what do you mean by tree tree should have all nodes of the graph so nodes are a then at b we have a node at c we have a node and at d we have a node so tree should have all the nodes of our graph then there should be that all nodes should be connected but it should not form a closed path okay so i'm going to draw a tree all nodes should be connected so i'm going to connect branch 6 then i'm going to connect branch 5 then i'm going to connect branch 4 see these three branches i took now you can look at this graph this tree see all nodes are connected so i formed a tree you can form any tree there is no problem i form this one if you are going to take a b c and d are my nodes if i'm if someone else is going to draw a tree like this see connecting these three branches that is branch 6 branch 5 and branch 2 this is also a tree okay a tree in a tree all nodes should be there then all nodes should be connected but it should not form a closed path okay if i'm going to take this branch then it will form a closed path okay now this is our tree in tree the branches are known as twigs the branches of tree are known as twigs okay which one are the branches not part of this tree branch one is there branch two is there branch three is there see one two and three are not there in this tree those branches are called as links okay now i'm going to take one of the link i'm going to take this link that is one okay and i'm going to place it here i placed link one here so as soon as i place link one here it is forming a closed path or we can say it is forming a closed loop that loop is called as fundamental loop a loop with one link and the remaining twigs are known as fundamental loop now if it is a loop there will be a circulating current that current is known as loop current or we will say link current and the direction of current will be in the direction of our link see our link direction it is like this so the direction of current will be in that direction itself direction of link then i'm going to name the current as i1 like that i'm going to place my next link that is link number two okay i placed it here now it is forming a closed path if there is a closed path then it will be a loop if it is a loop then there will be a circulating current and the direction of circulating current will be in the direction of link current link current direction it is like this so circulating current direction will be also like this and i am going to name it as i2 now one more branch is there or one more link is there one two and three branches one two and three are our links okay so one we draw two we draw then remaining one is three so i'm going to draw link three okay and the direction it is like this so direction like this so as soon as i draw link here then it is forming a closed path or it is forming a closed loop if it is a closed loop there will be a loop current and the direction of loop current will be in the same direction of link current so the direction it will be like this and i'm going to name it as i3 so there are three loops i1 i2 and i3 those loops are fundamental loops why we are saying fundamental loops because there is only one link and the remaining are branches see for example if i'm not going to take this tree i'm going to take this tree then which all are will which all are the links the unconnect, unconnected branches see one branch one is a link then branch four is a link see branch 4 is a link then branch 3 is also a link okay at this time we have we are having two links because now this is not a fundamental loop because fundament, in fundamental loop there will be one link and the remaining branches but here we can see there are two links so this is not a fundamental loop okay whereas this is a fundamental loop because there is only one link and the remaining are normal branches now what is a tie set matrix in tie set matrix we will draw a matrix with loops there are three loops i1 i2 i3 i1 i2 and i3 as the row and columns are branches so how many branches are there one two three four five six so six branches will be there one two three four five and six a matrix with with rows loop and columns branches so we are going to draw a matrix now i1 loop okay i'm going to take loop i1 which all are the branches connected one five and six so near one five and six put one all others are zero okay now we need to know whether this is negative one or positive one whether it is a negative one or positive one for that look at the link current link current direction is like this okay so link current and branch current direction are in same direction then positive one if link current and branch current direction are in reverse 
then we will write negative 1. So let us look. Take the first loop i1. In i1 loop, which one are the branches connected 1, 5 and 6. So we put 1, 1 and 1 near 1, 5 and 6. Okay. Now the direction. See link current direction it is clockwise. Branch 5 also direction is clockwise. Okay. Now branch 6. Branch 6 direction is opposite to the direction of loop current. So we will put negative near branch 6. See link current direction it is clockwise. Branch 5 also direction is clockwise. But branch 6 direction is anti-clockwise. So we are going to put negative near branch 6. Now let us take the second loop. Second loop it is I2. Okay, which one are the branches connected? 2, 4 and 5. So near 2, 4 and 5 put 1. Remaining all are zeros. Now the direction. Direction of link it is clockwise. So 2 the direction is clockwise. Then 4 is also clockwise. So 2 and 4 are positive. But 5 is anti-clockwise. So 5 is opposite to the direction of our loop current. So for 5 we will put negative. Now third loop i3 which are the branches connected this branch is there the number it is 3 okay branch 3 3 is there and 4 is there so near 3 and 4 put 1 remaining all are zeros okay now the direction i3 is going clockwise i4 in anti-clockwise direction so i3 is in this direction and i4 is in opposite direction so i4 we will put negative 1 so this is our tie set matrix we will denote with letter capital B tie set matrix with loop as row and branches as column okay now if you are going to multiply this matrix with branch voltages see this is our branch 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 branches are there the voltage in this branch is v1 at this branch it is v2 v3 v4 v5 and v6 the voltages if you are going to multiply this tie set matrix with branch voltages v4 v5 and v6 okay if you are going to multiply the tie set matrix with branch voltage then we will get zero okay so it is a property tie set matrix multiplied by branch voltage branch voltage let us denote vb okay we will get zero so tie set matrix multiplied by branch voltage we will get zero now one more property is there we have three loop current or we will say link current okay we can say loop current and we have tie set matrix b we need to find branch current that is ib okay we need to find branch current what is branch current the current flowing through this branch this is branch one so current flowing will be i1 this is branch two current flowing will be i2 like that okay we need to find the branch current what we need to do if the transpose of tie set matrix multiplied by the loop current we will get what branch current so this is our matrix tie set matrix transpose of that that means rows are changed to column so this matrix it will become 1 0 0 0 1 minus 1 it will become like this 1 0 0 0 1 minus 1 the rows will be changed to column 0 1 0 1 minus 1 0 0 1 0 1 minus 1 0 0 0 1 minus 1 0 0 rows into column 0 0 1 minus 1 0 0 so this will be our b transpose so b transpose multiplied by loop current what are the loop currents i1 i2 i3 i1 i2 i3 if we multiply this then we will get branch current what is branch current i1 i2 i3 up to i6 okay so if we multiply the transpose of tie set matrix and loop current we will get branch current so so when you get a question like this, first of all, check the number of nodes. Here there are 1, 2, 3, 4 nodes. So nodes, it is, number of nodes is n. That is, in this case, the number of nodes is 4. Now, number of branches. How many branches are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there are 6 branches. Branches are denoted with letter B. So branches, there are 6 branches. So branches are denoted with letter B. So there are 6 branches. Now, we need to form a tree from this graph. Okay. Now, the branches or trees are known as twigs. So how many twigs will be there? I'm going to denote with letter T. Okay. How to find the number of twigs? Twigs is equal to n minus 1. n is the number of node. So it will be 4 minus 1. It is going to be 3. So how to draw a tree? There, will, there should be all nodes should be there and all nodes should be connected. A, B, C and D. So all nodes should be there and all nodes should be connected. It should not form a closed path. See in this case, this is a tree. Look at the number of branches. Branches of trees are known as twigs so how many twigs are there one two three see one two three so the number of ticks to getting the number of twigs we need to subtract minus one from number of nodes okay now number of links how to get the number of li links we know the total branches is equal to number of twigs plus number of links so to get links what we need to do branches minus number of twigs branches it is okay i'm going to denote with b twigs it is n minus one okay so opening the bracket it will become b minus n plus 1 that will be the number of links now in this case the number of branches it is 6 
number of nodes it is 4 then plus 1 6 minus 4 it is 2 2 plus 1 it will be 3 so we got the number of linked link as 3 what are the links i1 i2 and i3 we got three loop currents from that link from the link we will form loop currents i1 i2 and i3 then from that we will form the tie set matrix where the rows of tie set matrix are the loop currents or loop then the columns are branches in this case branches are 1 2 3 4 5 6 so branches branches are the columns so with a column and row we will form tie set matrix then there is a property tie set matrix multiplied by branch voltage we will get zero tie set matrix multiplied by branch voltage we will get zero then if we have the link current link current that are i1 i2 and i3 then that is multiplied by transpose of tie set matrix then we will get branch current okay for getting branch current you should multiply the transpose of this tie set matrix and loop current in case of incidence matrix this is tie set matrix okay in case of incidence matrix reduced incidence matrix i am going to denote the letter a1 reduced incidence matrix means one row will be eliminated from the incidence matrix and it will become reduced incidence matrix reduced incidence matrix multiplied by branch current we will get zero okay tie set multiplied by branch voltage we will get zero reduced incidence matrix multiplied by branch current we will get zero so this is a property of kcl and here it is a property of kvl in the next video we can do a problem based on all this concept incidence matrix tie set matrix branch current and all the concept we will discuss in that problem